Good morning. Today in maths, we're going to make some counting pots. <clears throat> counting things out is a great way of learning to count, remembering to practice our careful counting. It's a really, really important skill that we should all practice, no matter how many you think you can count to. It's really important to keep practicing this skill. And counting pots is a great way of doing this. So we're going to make some counting pots. What you will need is pots. Now I've got six pots here. If you can have 10 pots, that'd be even better. I've got six. I only had six yogurts today. Then we need some a pen, sorry, a pen some sellotape or glue, some scissors, some paper, and then something to count. I've got dried kidney beans. And the kidney beans you can use whatever you want. You can use Play-Doh, marbles, stones from outside, anything you want. I've got sesame seeds or popcorn, unpopped popcorn, popcorn corn, corn kernels. There you go, corn kernels. Whatever you need to. So let's start. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna label our pots. So I need to label our pots. We're gonna make some Numbers, number labels. So here's my paper and I've cut this so it will fit on there. So I'm going to write numbers on one side and dots on the other. So let's start with numbers. So I'm going to do one to six. So one, and leave a space. Two. Three, round the tree and round the tree. Four, down, across and through. Five, down, big tummy and a hat. And then six, round. I need to cut these out. Okay, and now you just stick them on to the pots. So here's our pot. Let's stick it like this. I'm cutting my cellar tape. So, pot one. Two. Which one is three? Which one is three? Which one is three? Round the tree and round the tree. And that's right, this one. Set a tape. And set a tape. Three. Halfway there. Pot four. Two more to go. Use some more set of tape. Five, round, down, big tummy and hat. Five. And six. Now, what I want to do on the back is draw the number dots. So what I would do, let's do five. Let's go one, two, three, for five like that, and then that would go on the back. So our number pots would have two sides. We'd have the dot side, 
or the number sign. So do the dots on the back of all of them. Actually, we might do that now. We've got time. We're not going anywhere. So we need one, two, three, four, Not quite got enough room there. One, two, three, four. We've done five. We've done five to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Where's my cellar tape? Here it is. Let's go backwards now. Here's six. Six, five. Where's four? Four is a square. Well done. Here's our four. Three, which is a triangle. And then our two, well, set of tape. Oh, where's the end? I lost the end. I've got it. Phew. The last thing you want to see is me find the end of the set of tape. That's very boring. Two, and a little one. There we go. Fantastic. So, one, so you can see them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's play a game. I'm gonna cover your eyes. There we go. I'm gonna mix them up. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take one away. Tell me which one's missing. Which one's missing? Number two is missing. Close your eyes. Which one's missing? One, two, three, four. Ah! Five was missing. Let's, I'm gonna swap two over. <gasps> Which one's wrong? One, six? The six doesn't go there. What goes after one? <gasps> two, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic, right. So we've had a little game to sort them out. We know we've got one on one side and dot on the other. Four on one side and four on the other. And now we can count our beans. So in pot one, I just want one bean. Yeah, one bean in my pot. Can you see that? There you go. Also the camera is, same as there. One bean in the pot. This one, we need two beans. One, two, simples. And there's two beans in our pot. Next, we need three beans. One, two, three. Three beans in our pot. Then we need four. One, two, three. Four. Four beans in our pot. Then we need five. One, two, three, four, five, 
There's five beans in our pot. And finally, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to check six. I'll pull them out. We should be able to make this pattern here with the beans because there should be six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. There's our three, three pattern, three, three pattern. It's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Finally, if you have done all this and you're really good at it and you need any help whatsoever, you can do some adding. You can do adding two numbers together. So if I had five beans and then two beans, how many would I have? So I've got five beans in here and two beans in here. Let's see how many we would have all together. So five and two. We would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five and two is seven. Well done. Have a go at making your bean pots or your stone pots or whatever you want to count and let me have a look. Well done. Bye.